Welcome back to Drawing with Mark, and today we're going to do a monster. Uh, so make sure your paper's up and down, and uh, then you're going to go, once you got up and down, you're going to go right about here, and you're going to start a line that looks like a C, kind of like we did the fish or the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and we're going to kind of go like that. Now that's going to be our monster's nose, and so he has a place to breathe. We'll put a little breathing place like this. And then we're going to bring this line up just a little higher and we're going to put an eyebrow because you know I love to put eyebrows. Now if you slope your eyebrow down a little bit like I did, there's an eyebrow on the other side of his head and we'll just kind of put a line like that. We'll make him look like he's a little mean monster. Put a circle there for his eye and then finish his eye like that and then we'll kind of put a bag under his eye. Now this line we're going to bring farther back like so and then we're going to run it down like so. A little bit like if you drew my Tyrannosaurus Rex, same type of situation. Uh, but he's got to have teeth because he's a monster so we're going to put sharp teeth on him and we're going to put a bunch right here. Kind of little triangles. Pretty easy to do. We're going to run it back into his mouth like so. Of course this bottom Part of his mouth also needs some teeth on both sides. So we're going to do that. And there again, just little triangles. So now, just like our Tyrannosaurus Rex, if he did that, we've got his nose and his eye, and then we've got a mouthful of teeth. So we're going to go under here, and we're going to make kind of a little lip thing like that. And then we're going to go back to the middle of the top of his eyebrow, and we're going to run a line up, and then we're going to run a line down like so. And right on the top of his head, we're going to put a really big horn. Kind of put a couple of little lines like this that curve just to show that it's, it's kind of around the corn, it's not flat. We could even put a couple of lines like that on his nose too, just to give it a little character. Now once we've got his nose and his teeth and his horn, then we're going to go right about, we're going to go from his mouth, oh, his mouth will put a little line like so for the edge of his mouth. And then from that line, we're going to go about here and we're going to draw a line that comes down like so. And then it's going to go out like that. And then we're going to do another line that goes just like that to make the shape of his arm. And then right here, we're going to kind of put a circle where it connects to his body. And then another little circle kind of like so. Now at the end of his hand, uh, arm, obviously he has hands, but in this case, he's just gonna have three claws. So we're gonna put three kind of wide looking claw hands. And at the end of those fingers, since he's a monster, we're gonna put sharp claws. One on each hand. And then we've got that little lip, and now we're gonna start down from the lip to his stomach. And we're going to bring it down, so we're going to bring it down to the top of his hand there, and then we're going to go underneath his finger, and we're going to kind of bring a line like that. But then from that line, we're going to bring our line down like that, and another one, and then maybe one more, and that's his fat stomach. And then our monster's going to be kind of a sluggy looking thing, so he's just going to creep around the floor. No legs, just creep around the floor. So we'll do like so. Now, we'll go back up to the back of his head and we'll bring a line down that's going to run all the way down and we'll kind of connect up with that other line. Bring this one around like so and we'll kind of connect him up and that's the back of our monster. Now we want to maybe see the other side of his hand so we'll, we'll put another arm out here in mean, the other arm so we'll put another couple of lines out that go by each other. And at the end of those, we'll put the three fingers again. And then kind of a little bit for the hand. And then the claws, our fingernails. So now you've got Muscular Monster drawn. You've got his nose, you've got his teeth, his eye, horn on his head, and two arms. Kind of connect this one up like so. Now we're gonna go back to here and we're going to just make some more of those little horn looking things and we'll put a couple more like that and we'll run them all the way down his back 
and you can go down as far as you want, as big as you want, or as small as you want. But mine, as I get closer to the bottom, I'm gonna make it just a little smaller. Now, just to give him some interest, I'm gonna put some circles on my monster, just for his coloration, and also give you something fun to color. So I'll put them just randomly wherever I want, and you can do the same. Put them any place you want to put them. I'll make some bigger ones on his body. Connect those up. And then maybe a few smaller ones. Maybe on his belly we'll make it kind of distorted because his belly's so fat. Like so. And then we'll do some down here. And another one down here like this. And maybe one up here. And his arm, we need to put the elbow, so I'll put a couple of lines like that to show where his elbow bends. And maybe another little arm, and then maybe make that lip kind of come back like so. So anyways, there you have your kind of sluggy looking monster. Uh, color it any way you want, and have fun with it.